everyone and welcome to my channel. I have a new pick a card here for you today. The topic of this particular pick a card is about your manifestation in six months. So what will that look like? Uh, we can get a maybe a future prediction on where your current manifestation uh, will be in six months time. So I have four stacks on the table. Stacks on the table are the same as they are in the picture clip in the very beginning of the video. So if you haven't had a chance to take a moment to meditate and choose your stack, by all means, feel free to go back to the very beginning of the video, pause wherever you need to, take whatever time uh, you need to take in order to choose your stack. And of course, you're always welcome to pick more than one stack. Readings are general, so they're not going to apply to everyone watching. I certainly wouldn't expect them to. There's, you know, so many of you out there. Um, but if this particular reading doesn't connect, uh, of course, feel free to pick another stack or check out my pick a card playlist because I have other readings there that might connect better for you. This is a timeless pick a card. So it's really whenever the universe nudges you to watch, it's probably going to be the best time for you, whether that's you know, at the upload time or, you know, five years from now, uh, 10 years from now, it's really whenever it's put into your awareness uh, and you feel that push to watch is probably going to be the best time to watch. So with that being said, I'm going to move the stacks off the table and we're going to get directly into stack number one. Stack number one, you chose this selenite. Okay, so we want to know what will be the outcome or the direction of your manifestation? Where will it be going uh, six months from now, right? So I'm going to start with one of these cards. This is a Sacred Traveler Oracle. So let's take a look. Let's start with one of these and then we'll pull some tarot. So six months from now, what will your manifestation, your current manifestation, the one that you're working on, what will that look like six months from now? Okay, I feel like these two cards are stuck, probably for a reason. Let's take them. Ooh, look at that. All right, it says miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. And then we have rejuvenating rain. So it seems that your current manifestation or whatever it is that you're working towards, whether that be spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, um, it's basically saying expect your miracle. And I'm looking at the genie lamp and I'm saying, okay, well, uh, whenever I think of a genie lamp, I think of having wishes, right? So wishes fulfilled. I expect miracles and something wondrous to come of it. It says, uh, clear the past, heal the present. So I'm feeling like part of the process of achieving the manifestation that you're currently working on is clearing away the past in order to make room for the new, okay? So I'm looking at this like the manifestation is putting you onto a new path in some way and whatever that path is it's going to help bring um, not only wish fulfillment but also a lot of healing okay so let's get three let's get three tarot cards to get some more detail on this so six months from now we're looking at wish fulfillment um, miracles or things to happen in unexpected ways that would maybe help push that manifestation along is what I'm getting from this. And then with the development of that manifestation, it's going to help you clear any residual debris of the past and then help you heal um, as you move forward into it. Okay, so three cards. Okay, so one, two of pentacles. The King of Pentacles, okay, and the Seven of Pentacles. So um, what's weird is that the Seven of Pentacles is feeling like it belongs to this card right here. Okay, that's the first thing that drew my eye. The Seven of Pentacles is all about like a, a full-on reassessment, looking at a situation up, down, left, right, and center, seeing what needs, what it doesn't need, making the adjustments necessary, okay, in order to help push this thing along, right? In order to help this thing thrive and grow. So a lot of pentacles here. So I'm wondering if, you know, this is definitely personal goal, money related, career related, uh, maybe a talent or a skill that you're working on, right? So it's like, as you make the adjustments with this seven of pentacles, it's actually going to help this thing thrive and grow, 
also water is healing energy and it also is um, indicative of flow right so I'm feeling like as you make the adjustments necessary to make this manifestation grow and thrive and develop into something okay it's kind of like a hint of um, go with the flow, okay? Because there are ebbs and flows. So this is it's kind of feeling like an advice card as well in regards to the work that you're going to be putting in with the Seven of Pentacles. Like I said, as you make the adjustments necessary to move this thing along, uh, to work towards the ultimate goal, which is to grow this thing that you're working on as of now, um, as you as you do what you need to do, there are going to be some ebbs and flows, but that's all part of the process. So just please go like almost like go with the flow is what this is saying. So, yeah, you will be making progress in six months time. We see that here with the seven because sevens are about development. OK, developing something personal development a lot of times. Um, and yeah, it can seem like, OK, all the work that I'm putting into this thing uh, when am I going to see the end result, right? But the seven of pentacles is a kind of energy where it's like six months from now, you're going to still be working toward the goal, okay? Um, but this is an energy where you don't give up. You, you can't give up when you're so close to it. So this is saying that, yes, you're going to be on your way there in six months time. You're like right on the precipice of it though. There's this like cartoon with the seven of pentacles that for whatever reason is always reminding me of the seven of pentacles and vice versa the cartoon reminds me of this card do you ever see the um like the the cartoon sketch of a guy who's chiseling away trying to get through the tunnel right and or i guess it's like through the other side of the world or something like that and he's he's complaining and saying that he's so close to giving up when he's literally like an inch away from reaching the destination or the goal on the other side of him, you know, picking away at the, the rock and the dirt. Um, it's that kind of vibe with the seven of pentacles. This is saying, hey, you're almost there. Trust the ups and downs that you feel. Your miracle is coming. Um, the two of pentacles is also reminiscent of the ups and downs, the ebbs and the flows of a situation. This is usually about weighing the pros and cons of what you're doing, um, trying to find balance in a situation as well. Again, lots of water coming through, so could be turbulent, like I said, but again, it's, it's feeling more like ebbs and flows, ups and downs, okay, which are natural in the course of trying to achieve a goal. You're going to have your highs, you're going to have your lows, but nonetheless, it's all part of the process and the journey. And this card, I feel like it's saying, you're going you're gonna to be able to uh, balance and find that equilibrium just fine because the King of Pentacles is so grounded. Okay, so you could be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy right here uh, with the King of Pentacles. But it's like he's, he's so put together, right? It feels very much like even though the fluctuations outside of you or around you in your environment feel like they're doing a lot of this in the midst of trying to reach your goal. The king of pentacles has his feet on the ground. So in a sense, I'm looking at this like you're fine. Your inner spirit, your inner being knows that you're going to reach the goal, knows that you're going to be okay. The seven of pentacles doesn't give up when it's so close. Sometimes it feels like, yeah, I want to throw in the towel. I want to give up on this. I'm not really seeing much progress uh, or I'm not seeing as much growth as I would want. Um, but you have to understand that any good gardener knows that sometimes there's moments of drought. Sometimes there's moments of heavy rain. Sometimes there's uh, little buggers in the garden that can sometimes affect your plants or affect your uh, vegetable patch. You know what I mean? Like there's all kinds of environmental fluctuations that happen and it's just part of the process. Uh, nonetheless, the gardener keeps pushing one more day, one more day, one more day in order to yield his crop. So this is not, um, this is not a vibe of you giving up. This is a vibe of like wanting to trust the part of the process. So six months from now, you're going to definitely be working on the goal and you're going to be so close to it. Nonetheless, keep your feet on the ground is kind of what I want to say with this. And you will, you'll be stable. And the King of Pentacles is about success. He knows what he's doing. So trust your instincts, your business intuition, 
Um, this is like saying, hey, trust that, you know, you are going to see the fruits of your labor. Look at all the grapes, okay, surrounding him. So he is abundance to me. He is prosperity. He knows what he's doing. He has a good business acumen. So I'm looking at this like, yeah, you you got this. You are your, I'm here, you are your own miracle, okay? So trust that the, the miracles do occur. Uh, like any person on the journey, you're going to have the little bumps along the way, but you are so stable within your soul that even amidst the fluctuations and, you know, maybe some decision making you might have to make along the way with this two of pentacles, you are so stable and grounded in your, um, almost like in trust in your own ability, okay, that you're going to be able to push one more day and then reach through to the other side with this seven of pentacles. So at the six month mark, what I'm feeling is that you're going to be right there, right on the precipice of it. Um, that maybe going into the eighth month mark, okay, that's when you're really going to see it come to life. Okay, so let me grab, um, let me grab one of these just for a little bit more detail, maybe one or two. Okay, shovel, an iceberg. Okay, so the shovel energy, um, it talks about like sometimes burying things. Okay, so it says clear the past, heal the present. Again, as you move towards your goal, as you move towards your manifestation, something that's actually tangible, something you touch, taste, hold, smell, um, you know, something based in the earthly realm. Okay, there are some things along the journey that you're going to have to like wipe away, push away, clear away. The shovel is kind of like the idea of burying the past. Okay, not only that, what's so cool about the shovel is that the shovel can actually dig things up too. Okay, the shovel can truly dig some things up. What? Like buried treasure, right? So it's the same idea of like finding buried treasure in some way. Um, the number 53 boils down to an eight. That's a very, um, it breaks down to an eight and eights are... Uh, about, you know, usually money and prosperity, okay, related. So you do have the iceberg here. And the iceberg itself, okay, talks about uh, self-exploration a lot of times. Um, there was a lot of, I'll give an example, there's like a lot of uh, explorers that went into the Arctic. And I think that's where the artist of this deck kind of got that idea. You know, you go exploring into the unknown. It's that kind of thing. Part of the journey is exploring into the unknown towards your goals. You don't know what um, all the effort you're putting towards your goals right now are going to lead to. Um, and it does require you being, I'm almost feeling like to say, be patient with yourself. Uh, again, through the ebbs and flows. Part of this journey um, is going to help you get to know more about yourself and what you're capable of doing. Again, the iceberg in this deck does talk about, um, you know, obstacles and, and feeling that. But I was already getting that, the idea of like, you know, ebbs and flows. Nonetheless, you know, sometimes with, with this card here, it talks about obstacles being bigger than what, or like you in your mind thinking that the obstacles are bigger than what they really are in reality. Um, it's kind of like that vibe of um, like the car mirrors that say, hey, uh, objects are closer, or what is it? Objects are closer or not as close as they appear or something like that. I'll find what I would, <laughs> I'll find out what they say, uh, what it says on a car mirror. Objects in a mirror are something than they appear. I forgot what it is word for word verbatim, but I will find out what it is and I'll put it uh, somewhere like at the bottom Okay, and it's that kind of vibe with this, okay? So like I said, you're going to come across some things here and there, um, but just keep in mind the little the little bit of flux that you encounter along the way isn't really as bad in reality as in your mind you might make it out to be. So if you think at any moment you're on the verge of getting up or giving up because you, you've come across what appears to be an iceberg, um, you know, just keep in mind, it's really not as bad as it seems. Don't give up because you're right on the precipice of reaching the goal. Okay, so let's get uh, one of these fortune cards. So your manifestation in six months. 
looks like you're you'll be almost there right and I, I'm just uh, feeling from the shovel real quick um, that this is kind of like finding like I said finding treasure right but I'm also looking at it like uncovering uncovering little tidbits or synchronicities or cookie crumbs or something along the way and those are going to help keep you motivated okay okay so yeah um <laughs> wish okay look at this that's pretty cool wish just like I was saying, um, you know, when you rub a genie lamp, what do you get? You get three wishes, right? Expect the wonders to emerge. Expect your miracle. It says, wish your heart's desire is ready to come true. So, yeah, in six months time, it is going to come true. It will develop. It will uh, make, you will make progress in that. You are steady. You sec you're secure with the King of Pentacles. And it looks like you're going to get your wish. Okay, so whatever your manifestation is. I feel like it's something based in money or career or a skill or something like that. Something that's, you know, real solid, um, you know, could be, I don't know, a house. You know, that's a real material item, a car, um, a new job, you know, anything like that. But whatever it is that you're, you're set on and you're focused on, you're putting in your hustle with, with that seven of pentacles, um, it will feel like a wish come true when it arrives. All right. But in six months time, you're like right on the brink of it. Don't throw in the towel, okay, because you're almost right there. All right, so stack number one, this is your reading. I'm going to leave you here, and I'm going to move on to stack number two. If you feel it connects you, know what to do, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe, click the bell for notification because I upload often. And if you want to book a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. All you have to do is visit my Etsy shop, and you can peruse all of my readings there and all my information on how to book a reading is also there very easy to do so book a reading with me at your convenience at any time much love and blessings to you i'm going to move on to stack number two stack number two you chose this amethyst amethyst druzy i'm going to put that off to the side i'm going to get back to this tarot deck i want to use a sacred traveler oracle first because i want to ask you know what your manifestation is going to look like in six months okay so what will that be like for you in six months whatever manifestation you are working on stack number two we want to see what that's going to look like in six months just make sure i don't have the entire deck upside down all right so one card all right distant thunder it says clear the air i think i'm gonna grab another one just to see what that's all about so part of me, whenever I get this card, it does kind of feel like there's something on the horizon, like there's something coming. It's almost like you can feel it. Like that's the vibe that I get from that because you can feel the rumble of a, of a good thunder, right? Um, you could also see it on the, you know, in the distance. And whenever I think of lightning and thunder, it kind of reminds me of the tarot tower card where it's like sometimes the universe surprises you with something, right? So it's kind of feeling like that, um, unexpected, like an unexpected thunder or, or happening or circumstance that comes through. A lot of times, though, with that tower energy, you know, it comes through. We're not anticipating it, but it's always to help us out. At the moment, it may not feel like it, but it is, okay? So let's take a look. One more card in regards to this distant thunder and your manifestation six months from now. What's going on here with this? Okay. So yeah, <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, this is beautiful. Okay, so right away, your manifestation in six months, what it looks like is it's still going to be in the process of developing, Okay. I feel like there are some things in, in life that you might still need to clear out the way to make room for the manifestation. But nonetheless, this card here, when it says journey by moonlight, you have to keep trusting and believing in your own magic and in the magic of the way that the universe works in aiding your manifestation. Okay. It says believe in magic. Journey by moonlight. Moonlight, what does it do? It it distorts things sometimes. We don't always see things clearly. Sometimes it is, um, you know, it works on our emotions where we don't really, f you know, understand what we're experiencing or what we're feeling. We might feel confused as well with this card. So 
this is saying. What I feel like this is saying is in the midst of you trying to manifest, okay, you're going to have to clear, I feel like, some of the, the things out of your mind space that would confuse you and make you doubt your own magic, make you doubt the way that the universe is trying to aid your manifestation, okay? Because sometimes we can allow fear and worry and anxiety get in the way of uh, our progress and what we're capable of achieving and our own creator skills, okay? So that's kind of what I'm getting from this. It's like believe in your own magic. Don't let uh, any negativity I'm feeling coming from this um, distort your sense of magic or sense of self okay and what you're capable of doing because if anything that might cause delays in receiving the magic that's trying to make its way to you okay so let's take a look let's get uh three tarot cards okay in regards to this i feel like this there's something yes it's coming it's in the distance it's on its way right but part of it arriving sooner rather than later is you believing in your own capability, in your own ability to co-create your life. Minus fear, minus doubt, okay? Because that's the one thing to me that's the biggest hindrance in anything you're trying to create for your life is the fear that you can't, okay? So, let's grab three... Three tarot cards. In regards to your manifestation in six months' time, what would that look like? For those who chose stack number two. Okay. Wow, four of wands. The six of wands. Oh, wow, queen of wands. Come on. <laughs> you see what I mean? Um, like, I feel like sometimes, um, you know, we allow the, the mind and the worry and the anxiety and stress of, you know, how will it look? How will it come about? When will it happen? You know, like all that who, what, when, where, how clouds our own belief in ourselves. Yet you have three cards here that are saying clear your mind. I feel clear your mind from the worry, the confusion, um, the uncertainty okay start to believe in your abilities because in six months time you are more than capable of achieving the goal and the wish that you have for yourself again the six of wands is triumph over adversity okay you achieving something this is your success um, you being seen, noticed, having some accolades for whatever that is. This is a card of celebration with the four of wands. So whatever it is that you have on your heart, your mind, your spirit, whatever it is that you're looking to manifest and create for yourself six, you know, in six months time or um, now for six months time. It's saying you have the ability to really achieve this. You have two cards that are saying that. Fours are about stability. So to me, this is saying you're safe, you're secure. Um, the six of Wands is saying, hey, you have what it takes. And then the queen of wands, um, the little black cat energy, I love her so much. Um, you know, this is all about your intuitive capability. She's also about creativity. You could be Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. You have charisma. You have stamina. You have that go get em energy. You also have a great intuitive sense of uh, ability here that allows you to kind of see beyond. I'm hearing beyond the veil of your own um i guess see beyond the veil of what is going on right now right you have this uh just like this intuitive voice that says you know that you know what you want and there's a way to achieve it it's like that is that that little voice right there is what you need to listen to more than anything outside of you that little voice is what you need to let speak and come forth sunflowers are all about success and the sun Okay, and this is like giving me, I don't know why, like it's giving me honeybee vibes in a sense. Um, but bees are a symbol of raw success, the sun, a sweet life, labor, yes, but a productivity that leads to, um, you know, something good. So I'm looking at this like in six months time, you got what it takes you will achieve the goal in six months time. You will be able to um, kind of be proud of yourself. I'm feeling with this 
this six of wands energy you're gonna have something to celebrate with others i feel with the four of wands you're gonna stand like stand in your own or come into your own is what i'm feeling as a result of the the work that you're putting in people are going to notice you people are going to want to celebrate it i feel like they're going to want to be part of it okay there could be a marriage it could be a home if you're trying to manifest a home that would be this four of wands energy here you will have success in achieving that all right if it's a work-related endeavor, a talent, a skill, or something like that, creative, especially with this Queen of Wands, people are going to notice your talents, your gifts in six months' time, okay? You're going to be very popular, all right, in whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. You're going to be very popular in six months' time, um, and people are going to notice, again, the creative skill, the work that you put out. So I'm looking at this stack number two, like, when the little doubts fears and worries start to creep in i feel with these two cards clear them out the way because it says clear the air get them out the way because the manifestation is coming in the distance okay it's like you can feel the rumblings in your soul that it's on its way okay um but one thing that can delay that process is worrying about it fearing that it won't come about but these three tarot cards are clearly saying that yes it will come about just li keep listening to that little voice that's that's telling you or nudging you or leaving you um, little synchronicities maybe along the way even keep listening to that because that's that little voice that's letting you know it's coming closer it's getting here it's closer it's coming it's on its way all right that little voice is what you need to listen to over the doubt over the fear over the worry okay you have to believe in your own magic six of wands energy definitely does believe in his own magic remember wands you have tons of them here um wands are all about your divine inspiration how spirit moves you uh the ideas that you have your creative abilities your ambition your motivation your drive your skills so it's like here this is saying in six months time if you keep believing in yourself like the queen of wands would okay um if you keep believing in your yourself and your talents your skills what you're able to do how you're inspired, how spirit nudges you and moves you. That is the only voice you need to believe in. That is the only voice you need to listen to. Anything that would make you doubt, fear, or worry, it's kind of like clear it out the way. It has no place, okay? Because if anything, it's what it's going to do is it'll just delay uh, the magic or delay the, the manifestation from arriving that much sooner. Um, these cards are gorgeous, by the way. So stay positive is what I want to say, because in six months time, you're going to see that thing being celebrated. You're going to see you achieving um, that, that manifestation with uh, pride, okay? You're going to be proud of yourself for having uh, stuck it through. You're going to be sought after for your skill, your creativity, your abilities, whatever they may be, especially if it's a creative endeavor from that Queen of Wands. And your stability and having reached the goal you're going to feel so proud of yourself with this four of wands i truly believe you're going to be in a really good place six months from now but again it's the idea of don't doubt your own magic okay and you know what's really cool um, tomorrow is a full moon, um, a wolf moon, and you have the full moon in this card. So, again, um, if you're watching this at upload time or near the energy of a full moon, a full moon is you truly releasing the past, again, the idea of clearing the air to make room, okay, uh, for future things because you don't want anything from the past lingering into the journey and the the steps you're taking moving forward okay so it's truly an energy of like uh, of releasing anything that will block you or hinder you from your fullest potential okay full moon time you do the releasing you do the cleansing okay and you clear that air really so let's get let's get some of these. 
Okay, I think it's these two. Oh, and they're not red reversed. Okay, so I just had one in there. Okay, wow. So it's that's kind of cool. Look, you have another uh, wand here. Lots of wands. My goodness. Okay, so another wand. Um, it's it says stick and you have the star so of course the star is all about you know divine guidance uh, wish fulfillment you know wishing upon a star so yeah your wish will come through um, and your manifestation will develop into reality okay it'll come to fruition I feel with the star energy for, for sure um, I feel like it's divinely guided and inspired by the higher realms um, divinely guided by spirit and with that, I feel like um, there's protection in this, okay, with the star. Because if your ancestors are looking out for you, your spiritual squad has your back type of thing, um, the star is kind of like that energy to me. So you're definitely looked out for in regards to this endeavor and just know that they have your back and they're holding your hand um, as you take the steps towards achieving this goal, okay? And then you have um, the stick energy, which... It's like I said, it's kind of like, you know, um, the wands. It is a symbol of personal power. Okay. And in this deck, it talks about like branching out on your own and doing your own thing and um, like a sense of, you know, personal power and individualism. So it looks like you're branching out, taking, maybe taking a chance, maybe taking a risk, uh, maybe doing something different, following, um, you know, that intuitive nudge. Um, of the star the star is also a symbol of hope and having um you know a sense of clarity as well again sometimes the star you know with it kind of falls in line with the six of wands because when people look up to you you know on your horse with this six of wands you know people do look up at the stars as well so again it's that idea of shining bright and people seeing your shine in some way okay so let's get a fortune card to sum this up for you so your manifestation in six months okay let's see one more card to give us an idea of what that's gonna look like what what the heck <laughs> I love it when this happens okay look at that hard times are over look forward to an abundance of happiness enthusiasm and positivity so you got the star two times so I don't think you have anything to worry about I think in six months time whatever wish it is you're working on whatever manifestation it is that you're working on you will definitely achieve the goal okay in six months time from whatever you choose to watch this video it's happening okay believe in your magic we have you know like I said ancestral energy I feel coming from the stars kind of just divinely guiding this journey for you um, and leading you to your success with the Six of Wands. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, maybe stopping once in a while to clear your energy from any um, negativity, maybe even from outside sources. Sometimes the negativity isn't even coming from you, but maybe it's coming, you know, from other people or your environment. So like to clear that out the way, to clear your thoughts, your mind, your body, your heart, your spirit, whatever it is that you need to do. So that way the only thing that remains is the vision that you have for yourself actually happening um, and staying positive in that and believing in your own magic. So stack number two, this is your reading. Much love and blessings to you. Um, if you feel connects, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to support this channel. Click the bell for notifications so that way when I upload, you get notified. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, all my information is in the description box. All you have to do is visit my Etsy page. Uh, everything that you need to book a reading is there. It's a very simple uh, process. Um, just take some time to review it and you can book a reading whenever you're ready. So much love and blessings to you. I'm going to leave you here. All right, stack number three. You chose this Apophyllite. I think I'm saying that right. Very unique cluster here. So I'm going to put that off to the side. All right, I'm going to get back to this tarot deck. But I want to start first with the Sacred Traveler Oracle. All right, because we want to take a look at what your manifestation is going to look like in six months. All right, so stack number three. What will the manifestation you're currently working on be like or look like in six months' time? Okay. Mystic 
healer energy healing energy flows through you now and I'm gonna take another one because it you know basically the other two stacks ended up getting two of these so I feel it's only fair <laughs> so it says mystic healer healing energy flows through you cleansing waters purification activates vibrant life forces and then we have uh, lots of animal medicine here we have the dragonfly which is a symbol of change and um, it's like a light-hearted nature also right and then here we have the owl which is a symbol of wisdom and knowledge and learning and then you have the lotus which is an alchemical symbol of transmutation okay so you um, you work through the things you you, you you literally, as a lotus, you're grown from mud, okay? So you have to go through the mucky waters and the depths, and you emerge into enlightenment at the very, very top of the water where the sun hits you. And it's like, there's your moment to shine, right? There's your moment to be in full bloom. So it's a process, right? But that process is a process of refinement. And that process uh, towards, I feel like, getting to your manifestation is one that is going to heal you, not only heal you, but also transform you. Um, I want to say with this card here, you might be a healer, okay? Maybe your manifestation is to uh, get started in some kind of healing art, okay? We do have goddess energy here with the crescent moon. So I could definitely see this as you, you know, some of you may be connecting with a specific goddess energy. Um, maybe you are connecting with that divine essence to help you hone your healing gifts okay that's kind of what I'm, I'm feeling from this so if you are in touch with goddess energy or maybe if if you aren't yet that might be a good idea to connect with that divine feminine energy uh to connect with goddess energy especially if there's a specific goddess that you feel drawn to there's probably something um, in that energy or in that particular goddess's archetype that is going to help you access those healing gifts if you haven't done that already okay so let's grab the tarot to see what this is all about okay so again we want to know in six months time we want to see you know what your manifestation the manifestation that you're currently working on what is that going to look like or what will it result in okay where is it going manifestation stack number three that you're currently working on we want three cards to give us information on where that is headed okay so we have the five of wands we have the knight of pentacles and the four of wands so yeah <laughs> this is beautiful too so in six months time okay there is something about your manifestation that you're going to be working on and it's going to take movement and progress, but steady movement and progress. We have that with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. But that steady movement and progress is going to lead you to your success. But the trick is to keep going. Okay. So in six months time, I feel like you're going to be working on it. You're, you know, you're going to be feeling a little bit of a pinch or a struggle. Okay. Cause the five of ones does talk about that. It does talk about, um, feeling like you're challenged by something or someone sometimes it's an internal conflict versus an external uh, but if it's an external conflict or challenge that you're experiencing sometimes it can speak about challenges with others okay but a lot of times when we get it it's really speaking about an internal conflict with our own self all right um but i want to say with the five okay don't give in necessarily don't give in to that feeling of trouble or unpredictability that you're experiencing in regards to your manifestation because this is saying if you continue pressing forward, all right, with this Knight of Pentacles energy, it's going to lead to that stability, all right? Earth energy here with the Knight of Pentacles, steady, it's like slow and steady wins a race with this, okay? Don't let any internal or external conflict uh, deter you from taking those steps towards your manifestation and eventually seeing the achievement of it okay because you have the four of wands energy here and this is saying yeah you you can achieve this okay it's just about you making sure that you keep putting one foot in front of the other until you get there that's the vibe of this knight of pentacles that i'm feeling 
you know, the nights are all about movement and action. So you have to continually take the action. Despite any internal external conflict that may surround you, do not let it deter you from moving forward in it. All right. Um, so definitely could be personal goal related, money related with the Knight of Pentacles for sure. I also look at the Knight of Pentacles that, you know, he's, he's so methodical. He's a proper planner. So you might have to just put plans into action. Um, be very meticulous about your dealings. Maybe keep track of what you're doing, maybe what you're spending, where you're distributing your energy or your resources towards that manifestation. Just be very meticulous about what it is that you're doing. Uh, when the Knight of Pentacles shows up, you also have to remember that this is this is stable, grounded, solid energy. So whatever you are moving towards or whatever steps you're taking towards the manifestation is something that has the potential to truly last a lifetime, okay? Because it's not like hot-headed energy. It's not that kind of energy that just rushes into something. No, this is like planning mode, okay? So in six months' time, I feel like you'll be in the stages of um, seeing it come together for whatever reason I'm looking at this four of wands and I'm thinking like uh, party planning I don't know why <laughs> so it's kind of like this five of you know there might be some stresses along the way but if you keep putting one foot in front of the other eventually the party will come together like that's kind of what I'm hearing from this like the party will eventually come together it's like a wedding and planning for your big day. I mean, four wands can sometimes talk about a wedding, right? So I don't know if some of you are planning for a wedding or trying to manifest a wedding. That's a possibility in six months time. But it's more or less like as long as you keep planning, as long as you keep uh, doing what you need to do to get the job done, it'll eventually all come together. Okay. The four of wands is basically celebrating that coming together. Um, achievement. Okay stability in achieving that feeling like you have your feet on solid ground and feeling um like a vibrant energy about it okay happiness i'm feeling like happiness achievement of goals success seeing that all the hard work you put in and the progress you've made with this knight of pentacles is actually coming together and you'll be able to see it in six months time you're going to see the little steps that you take that you take now are actually going to result into something with this four of wands in six months time okay again could be job related career related personal goal related uh, could be a house could be a wedding um that you're trying to manifest um some kind of stable ground that you want to, to find for yourself in whatever it is that you're achieving, okay? So, again, the idea of keep putting steps in front, one step in front of another, keep planning properly, taking the steps necessary, moving towards the goal, okay? Um, despite any conflicts that you, you might feel with others or within yourself, the thing is, is to stay steady, and consistent is what I'm hearing from the Knight of Pentacles. And you will see it start to form and come together, I feel, with this Four of Wands. And it'll feel like, wow, I did it. Like, that's kind of the vibe um, that I'm getting. Maybe because a Four of Wands is usually depicted, like, with somebody holding a trophy in the air. You know, that kind of thing. And that's kind of what I'm feeling from this. In six months' time, you will feel like, wow, I did it. I accomplished it. Um, I'm glad I kept pushing myself towards the goal I kept doing the little things necessary to achieve it because now I'm here that's what I'm feeling from this four of wands you have I feel with this um a very it's almost like a magnetic quality about your aura probably um I, for whatever reason I'm feeling like a magnetic ability to attract the things that you're working towards or attract the things that you're visualizing on a spiritual level. So I don't know if a lot of you are like meditating heavily on this manifestation. So you're giving it a lot of your spiritual energy. Maybe you're doing spiritual work with it. Um, maybe you're lighting candles. Maybe you're doing fire magic. I'm not sure why I'm feeling that. But it's like this is basically giving a lot of your spiritual energy towards the manifestation. Maybe in med in meditation or actually um, doing like you know working on your craft in some way so 
I feel like connected to God is connected to, to this spiritual energy to help you continue on the path. Okay. Um, it says purification activates vibrant life force. Again, the idea of you being the magic behind the manifestation, you being the the force the life force energy the energy behind this thing achieving uh you achieving it okay so it it literally feels like this is as long as you keep giving it your spiritual energy and actually take physical steps you will achieve it you will receive it in six months time this is you kind of like um like i said doing the the transmutative energy work towards this thing as you stay in um like surrender i'm hearing surrender mode like look how peaceful she is like keeping your vibe high and peaceful as you go through the manifestation process the mo the mode of it okay it's like manifestation mode when you're in manifestation mode you literally have to stay at peace with yourself at ease with yourself, in trust, in flow, and in surrender, right? Because it is a process, just like the lotus is a process. A lotus is grown from mud, but it goes through the process of enlightenment, of achieving this thing, okay? By, um, again, the idea of continually pushing through the muck, rising up through the waters until it breaks through the surface, okay? of the water to reach the sun. Again, the sun is a symbol of success. So you have to, again, take one step in front of the other and eventually you will reach the sun. You will reach your moment of success. But all the while, you have to kind of like flow with it, be at peace, um, be kind of like carefree in a sense, in surrender mode and in full trust, okay? So one of the little candles went out. Um, and I do have more here. Bear with me one second. I'm going to switch this out because I don't really like to have them uh, sitting there like that uh, empty. So just give me one second because what I'm going to do is light this up. And I'm going to get your little Mildred Payne pocket oracle cards. Okay. And we'll get more detail on this. So thank you for your patience while I get this fire started for you. Okay. All right, let's see, two cards. Let's get more detail on this. Whoa, look at that, dragon. <laughs> the dragon is a symbol of your personal power, okay? And it's like this idea of like digging down deep to get the very, very best of your energy and pulling it forth, okay? So definitely a good energy to have. So you, you're definitely capable. What was that? Time. Yeah. It literally just takes time, okay? It just takes time. And a lot of it is based on sometimes divine timing, okay? So we're as you work on the manifestation, just know that everything will line up in divine time, but just stay in your personal power and continue to push through, taking the steps necessary, continue to stay, um, like I said, in that mindset of visualizing the manifestation, put in the spiritual work toward it. Trust me, it will result into this achievement of the Four of Wands, and you will see see the result of that manifestation in six months months time um it's a matter of again soothing i'm hearing maybe it's coming from this energy here because she looks like in surrender and a mode of uh, peace and tranquility so soothing the angst that you might feel on occasion with this five of wands the internal or external conflict it's like sometimes even removing yourself from it physically if it's in your exterior versus the inner Right. So sometimes you're moving yourself from a situation that would um, muck up your own energy in a sense in order to clear your mind. So that way you can truly um, stay with the manifestation without distraction. So this is a matter of like tapping into your spiritual energy, uh, tapping into your personal power, allowing the universe the time that it needs to and you giving yourself time to create this as well. Um, because the universe does need time and so do you, right? In order to see this thing come about, but staying in that mindset of it's happening, 
I'm flowing with it. I trust, you know, the universe. I trust spirit. I trust myself. Um, putting your own fears or anxieties at ease. Taking steps necessary because it is going to develop something. But you have to keep putting one foot in front of the other as you do it. Okay, so in six months time, I'm seeing the achievement of that. As long as you stick with it. Absolutely. Give yourself the time that you need to plan, to prep. Stay in your personal power. Okay. So one card for stack number three. Your manifestation six months from now. What is that going to look like? Again. Whoa, okay. Again, the lotus is uh, an energy that is a process, right? Everything is a process. So again, the idea of the hourglass here, you know, time. Is, is a process. Again, the Knight of Pentacles, progress, process. You have to take steps, right? Everything in its time. So you have, wow, it says the cracker, firecracker, it says positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune await. So then again, more confirmation that this thing is going to be, you're going to set it off, okay? It's going to be set off in a way that is going to be beautiful, magical, mystical, um, because of this card, the dragon, you know, this dragon is a mythical creature. So I feel like magical and mystical is the, the theme behind your manifestation. And as long as you stay working that magic, connecting with source, uh, visualiz visualizing it and taking physical steps toward it, you are accessing, okay, what you need to see that thing come to fruition in six months time with the four of wands where you can stand up and like be really proud of yourself so stack number three this is your reading um i'm gonna leave you here if you feel connects you know what to do leave me a comment in the comment section down below to support this channel please like share subscribe click the bell for notifications so that way when i upload you get notified and um if you want to book a personal reading with me all my information is in the description box down below you can visit my etsy shop at any time it's a very simple process to book a reading with me just take the time to review the rule you know kind of like the rules or the the instructions on how to do so and um it's a really simple process so if you want you can check me out on etsy book a reading at any time whenever you're ready much love and blessings to you stack number three i'm going to leave you here and i'm going to move on to stack number four stack number four you chose this gorgeous moldavite this is one of my babies so very cool stone um i would recommend that if you are led to work with this stone um this tectite in any way please do some research on it uh, it's very powerful energy that it gives off um so yeah anyway if you <laughs> if you chose this you might want to do some research on it okay because there's probably a reason why you were led to it just saying okay sack number four before i grab the tarot in regards to you know what your manifestation is going to look like in six months i want to grab one of these cards from the Sacred Traveler Oracle um, to give us a little bit of idea first, okay? So in six months time, we want to know what your manifestation is going to look like in six months time, okay? Maybe where, where you will be with it in six months time, what it will look like, what advice. Okay, let's take a look. Your manifestation for stack number four. What will that look like in six months' time? The manifestation that you're currently working on, okay? What will that be like or look like in six months' time? Whoa, okay, so we have one. Protected by angels, you are cherished by the angels. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides. So it's like your, your spirit guides are saying, hey, we have your back on this manifestation. That's what I'm getting from that. Let's get one more card. Begin now. Take your first step. Look at that. So if you're debating, <laughs> maybe some of you haven't even started the manifestation yet. Maybe you're just debating it in your mind or thinking about it, but actually haven't taken the first physical step quite yet. And this is kind of like saying, hey, stop hesitating. Don't just think about it. Go out and do it. Okay. Go out and take that journey. Put the put your first foot forward. Okay. Because what's the quote? Um, isn't it... The first step is 
one of many or I forgot oh my gosh I'm awful with quotes you know that um I guess the journey begins with the first step or something you know what I'll find I'll find the quote and I'll put it somewhere here in the video so I don't butcher it anymore but you know what I mean okay I think you get me um so it's like you're protected in this all you have to do is just start okay so I feel like some of you haven't quite yet started um taking physical steps I think some of you might have already visualized it and the reason why I say that is because this angel um ho holds a sword and whenever I think of the swords I think of like mental energy your thoughts your visualizations right so I feel like some of you have already like thought about it visualized what it would be like but actually haven't maybe quite put that first physical step toward it yet okay and that's what this is saying what are you waiting for um, I think that's what this is trying to say. Your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides are like, hey, what are you waiting for? Uh, we got you on this. Uh, we have your back. We're looking out for you. We're not going to let you fall flat on your face when it comes to this manifestation. Okay. All right. So let's get three cards. All right. So we have the seven of wands. I think I'm just going to take the rest. Okay. So, yeah, this is kind of, it is kind of what I was feeling. Um, I'm basically mirroring what these two cards are already saying. Because the hermit is like, I'm going to do some soul searching, right? It's a card of non-action. So, I think some of you are just thinking about the manifestation right now. Or thinking about what it is that you want to accomplish. Maybe you guys are doing some soul searching in regards to it right now. But I'm feeling like the the Knight of uh, Swords here, it's contradictory. You know, you have the Hermit and you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is definitely a card of action and movement. Sometimes he rushes into something without thinking it through. So, okay, in this, ca in this case right there, I think I just... Um, kind of answered myself it's like I feel like that's what you're doing uh, um, maybe you're afraid you you don't want to rush into something unnecessarily or you don't want to be impulsive is what I'm getting about this okay and you want to make sure you do it right okay but the thing is it's like you got to start somewhere too right I, I could totally understand if some of you are still thinking about it you haven't taken the first step. I can understand. It's like, I don't want to, I'm feeling like right here, this is saying, I don't want to make a wrong move. I don't want to run in. I don't want to run into something or rush into something and cause almost like cause trouble for myself. So I'm going to think about this a little deeper. I'm going to meditate on it a little more because I don't want to be impulsive over here with this knight of swords and do something I might regret. Okay, like that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. Seven of Wands is, is a card of wanting to take action, standing up for yourself, okay? Ch sometimes even challenging yourself to do, you know, to do something. All right, it is a card about putting your foot down. And sometimes it's about naysayers and people who try to challenge you um, and say that maybe, hey, you know, are you sure you can do that type of thing? And then you having to defend yourself or stick up for yourself, fight for yourself, uh, fight for what it is that you want, desire, or love, right? Even against others that might say um, negative things toward it. So I have to wonder if there are others in your environment that maybe um, have said some things in regards to a goal or an idea that you have that they come off kind of like um, a negative, there's a negative connotation to some of the things that they say and it makes you doubt yourself in some way and makes you think that you can't take action or move forward. That's honestly the kind of vibe that I'm feeling from this besides the fact that, hey, they're, they're, there is a, a feeling of wanting to take some time to really think this through. I was feeling that with the sword here as well. So you might feel challenged by others with the seven of wands. Okay. 
Um, you might do some soul searching in regards to it. Part of that soul searching is like not wanting to jump too soon is what I'm hearing from the Knight of Swords. You're afraid to be too impulsive and then have it backfire or something like that. Um, but these two cards here are saying, hey, we have you. We're protecting you. We're looking out for you. It's a matter of just starting somewhere, taking the first step toward it, despite what others may say. All right. Um, it's it's almost like let us hold you, let us guide you um, because the star is in the lantern and I think of, you know, the actual star card. Sometimes when I look at this hermit and the star card is, is hope, okay? It's sometimes destiny and it's about uh, divine guidance leading the way. And the hermit himself has that star, that same star, in his lantern. So I also want to say to you to have hope and trust that the minute you take the first step, you will be secure. You will be looked after. It's just a matter of doing it, right? So don't hesitate too long. Um, because that hesitation could, um, or that fear of not being enough or not being capable, um, I'm hearing insecurities. Okay, maybe that's coming in from the seven of wands because if other people are telling you that you can't, that can really be detrimental to your own self-confidence in regards to whether you think you're capable or not. All right? So this is kind of like you needing to fight off, um, what other people may say or think like who cares what they think is what i want to say with this card like who, who gives a crap what they think you know if you trust yourself your soul and the way that you're being nudged um you can do it all right so you might have to fight some people off or might have to tell them to you know zip it <laughs> right um standing up for yourself and what you think you're capable of doing and achieving with the seven of wands meditate on it sure take you know do what you need to do on the spirit spiritual level first absolutely I, I agree with that but if there's some kind of if you're being pushed or nudged or guided in a certain direction um how i almost want to ask you like how long can you sit on your hands until you have to listen to spirit Okay, because you're feeling that nudge for a reason. And that's kind of why I'm getting the vibe that, yes, you're, you're taken care of. You, you will be protected along the journey. Um, if you're being nudged and guided in a certain direction, if your soul is calling you to do something, right? Um, you, won't, you won't be able to sit on it for long until you're going to have to take the first step toward it. Okay, um, so I want to say with the Knight of Swords, a lot of times this energy comes off as a little bit of fearlessness. So it's almost like maybe you need to take on that fearlessness and just move and go and see what happens. Okay, because it's almost like you'll never know until you try, right? So I'm really feeling from stack number four. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to apply to all of you, but I do feel like from stack number four, some of you have just been in contemplation mode about the manifestation that you want to see for your life, but actually haven't taken physical steps toward it. And if you, well, that kind of wanted to flip over, so I will take it. Um, if you wanted, if you're, if you're contemplating it right now, okay, or let's say if you have already, let's say if you have already done the the work to make things happen then this is saying that you're protected in the endeavor okay you're protected in the endeavor if you have others along the road on the journey that are telling you you can't just trust in your own guidance and it's almost like with that sort of truth that the Knight of Swords has, like, nip it in the bud kind of thing. Because your squad has your back and you know what you're doing. So it's like, who are they to talk? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this, to be honest. Um, the same thing applies. 
if you haven't even take this, taken the first step, but you're allowing uh, the ideas or the thoughts or the, the talk of others get in the way, it's that same kind of thing. The only opinion that matters in this regard is really your own and the way that spirit is nudging you forward in it, okay? So I just need one more card because I like to piece these two together. Whoop, what was that? Okay, so we have the moth. We have fire and we have moth. So some of you could be fire signs. Uh, some of you could also be, I think the hermit, the hermit might be Virgo energy. Um, I believe it's Virgo energy. And we also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here as well. So fire sign could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but nonetheless, the fire card, okay, is about that uh, passion. So if you have a passion for something, if you have a creative spark, like a divine spark, if there's something um, that has been lit up inside of you, okay? If you have a passion for whatever it is that you're looking to pursue, whatever it is you're looking to manifest, this is kind of like that fire in your in your, in your your spirit, in your soul, underneath you that gets you going, that gets you moving. There's something here that's nudging you. Again, it's the idea of you're not going to be able to sit on your hands forever and ignore it. You're eventually going to have to take steps towards that because it won't let you rest. This fire energy kind of doesn't do that, okay? It is your spiritual fire, your divine spark, your divine flame within. So, again, the idea of you're not going to be able to put out that fire. It's your passion. If it's your passion in something creative, if it's your, um, you know, something you've always wanted to do, you're not going to be able to sit on that forever, Okay. This is the moth. So this energy is talking about change, transformation, okay? And it is about being attracted to something, okay? So there's a passion that you're attracted to or that has drawn you in or is kind of like pulling you to do it. You're Again, the idea of you're not going to be able to sit on your hands forever and ignore it and not do anything about it. There's a reason why the star is here in the hermit's lantern while he's doing his soul searching. He's being divinely guided in this direction for a reason. So your manifestation is about something that the soul is urging you to do. It is part of your divine spark. There's a reason why it's being ignited in you. You have the moth energy. Again, this is asking you for, for you to change something, to transform in the butterfly that you're meant to be, to spread your wings a little bit and, you know, fly and expand your horizons to see what you're capable of, okay? So it's like, again, the idea of you can't hesitate on this forever, all right? Think about it for a little bit, but don't hesitate on it forever. And and don't worry about uh, a fear of failure with the Knights of, for whatever reason, it's reading like a, you know, a fear of being too impulsive and possibly failing that Knight of Swords. That's kind of how that's reading. So let's grab one of these final Oracle cards here. Number four, your manifestation in six months. Let's see. Let's get one card to give us an idea of what that going to look like for you eagle wow okay again you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength absolutely um i kind of was feeling that from the hermit like this divine guidance is you know pushing you in this direction uh, towards your destiny it's a spiritual calling and a nudge for a reason and then you have uh, the wings of the angel here again okay with the eagle the, the eagle has a higher insight okay so your squad is also I'm feeling like saying to you hey we got you on this there's a reason why you're being called in this direction to take that journey okay towards this thing um, it's because it's divinely inspired, okay? So this is the eagle. It does have a higher perspective on things. It, you know, it's kind of like your higher self having the ability to see um, right now what your 3D self cannot and trusting in that higher perspective, okay? Your higher self, your guides, your, your angels, your spirit guides, whatever it is that you want to call it, they have the bigger picture. You might not see it right now in your 3D world, but they can see the bigger picture because they're looking above it, okay? They're looking from, down from above on you. So that's kind of what I'm feeling from this with this ego energy. So stack number four, um, this is very positive. If all you're doing is thinking about it right now, 
um, there's a reason why you're nudged in this direction or, or why it's heavy on the mind and on the heart and why you feel this spiritual urge. But it's like you have to truly just try, okay? You have to try. So this is saying, I think with this and this, you got this. It's okay. Everything's going to be all right, but you got to start somewhere. All right. So much love to you, stack number four. If you feel it connects, you know what to do. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to support this channel. Click the bell for notifications so that way when I upload, um, you get notified. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, it's a very simple process to do. Um, all my information is in the description box. All you have to do is visit my Etsy shop, uh, take a look around. And there's plenty of instructions there on how to book a reading with me. Very simple process. So much love and blessings to you. Again, I'm going to remind you, stack number four. This might be the push that you need with this Moldavite here, okay? This stone will help you achieve a lot of things. So if you need that push um, to get going on this manifestation, you might want to check out uh, purchasing a Moldavite. Okay, so much love to you again. I'm going to leave you here. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Keep shining.